How to Tuning Resin Slicer Smart Support for Beginners in Tango Tango Smart Support parameters are all open to users. Among them, which are the most important to 3D printing beginners? In this video, we'll explain to you the most frequently smart support parameters for beginners. Critical Angle First, let's have a look at the critical angle. Critical angle is the angle between the support surface and the horizontal plane. Set the critical angle, Tango will generate support on surfaces with an angle less than the critical angle. Therefore, the bigger the critical angle, the larger the areas that need to be supported, and the more supports Tango will generate. By decreasing critical angle, you can reduce the support generation area. But if the critical angle is too small for the part to support itself, the printing will fail. A general rule of thumb for DLP slash LCD printing is that overhangs with an angle greater than 45 degrees from the horizontal plane can be printed without support, so the default critical angle in Tango is 45 degrees. Of course, the self-supporting angle of the part is also closely related to the printer, material, and the model. You can use the critical angle test part to test your self-supporting angle, you can find the download link for this test part below in the description. Anchor Distance As we mentioned in the manual support editing tutorial, the support anchor points are hidden by default, you can only see them when manually editing support. These blue points are support anchor points. Anchor distance is used to control support density and refers to the distance between upper contact points. Smaller anchor distance requires more supports and leads to higher printing success rate. However, it will waste material and the supports will be hard to remove. The bigger the anchor distance, the less supports, yet it could lead to print failures, therefore, it's important to choose an appropriate anchor distance for your printing. For miniatures with lots of details, we suggest you use a smaller anchor distance to ensure that part details won't be lost. Normally, the anchor distance ranges from 1.5 to 3.5, you can use 30-30-10 squares to test your anchor distance and gradually increase the parameter by 10%. Border Anchor Distance Border anchor distance is to control the anchor distance at the boundary of the support surface. Normally, the border anchor distance is smaller than anchor distance to effectively prevent the edge deformation of parts. Reinforce Lowest Points the lowest points refer to the bottom of the model, which will be printed first. The lowest points bear the most stress, so reinforcing them can firmly pull parts and prevent parts from falling. Lowest anchor distance refers to the distance between anchors in the lowest strengthening area. Reinforce height refers to the height of reinforcing area from the lowest point. Lowest anchor distance should be smaller than anchor distance, but not too small. Otherwise, the support will be hard to remove, normally, the reinforce height is set to 2.5. If the models fail to be pulled, you can increase this parameter appropriately. Diamond The interconnected and crossed diamond structures in smart support can increase the support stability. Diamond Angle Diamond angle is the angle between the smart support intersection structure and the horizontal line. The diamond angle can't be smaller than the self-supported angle of the printing. For some models, appropriately increasing the diamond angle helps reduce the support volume. Diamond width. The diamond width directly affects the overall strength of the support. You can increase the diamond width appropriately to reduce support, but not too wide, if so. It will make the support structure looser and cause printing failure. For different types of models, the optimal parameter can be found by gradually increasing the diamond width by 10%. Edge width The edge width is the column diameter of the smart support structure. The thinner the column, the easier it is to remove the support, but the support strength will be lower and can lead to print failure. A thicker column provides strong support stability, but it'll be hard to remove the supports. Normally this parameter is set to 1 mm. If the parts fail to be pulled, the column diameter can be appropriately increased. Polygon Edge Number The polygon edge number determines the shape of the smart support column. The more edges there are, the closer the column is to the cylinder. Normally you can set it to 12. 
Thank you for watching.